another half hour under the belt and another session afterwards. It's good to get this done, isn't it? Yeah, it's great, you know. Well, I say it's great, we feel awful for it, but yeah, it's good that Gaffer wants us to work hard. I think it was a major thing for us last year that we were fitter than everyone. And, you know, it's what he's got us doing now. You don't see many teams that will play a game and do a training session after. And then, you know, now we're in the gym as well. It's like three sessions all in one, but no, I think the lads loved it. You know, it's more minutes under the belt for the, for the boys. Um, and, you know, it was a tough opponent as well. You know, they played a, a good game, but... We got the work out of it, so I think we're all happy. Put the words on me well for that. That was a competitive fixture, wasn't it? I think, yeah, for a pre-season friendly, you know, it's it's right up there. You know, they're in Scottish Premier League. Yeah, they're, they're a good side. And I think, you know, they came here and they showed it. Um, they've been in competitive football for a couple of weeks now, I think. I think they've got a Scottish Cup or something like that. So I think they've been back longer than we have. Um, but it was a good test for the lads, and I think it showed. Um, and we got the work out of it that we wanted to. Felt like the goal was coming as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, when the lads came on, it's always been such a big thing that substitutes make an impact when you go on. You know, the gaffer reiterates that in every meeting we have. Um, so I think to come on, grab a goal, grab an equaliser and come away with something, it's, yeah, it's a good feeling. He's just been shouting at us about it. Gibbo, lovely on the plate for you, wasn't it? Yeah, Gubbo, uh, Gibbo's cross, scuff shot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's flashed one across goal and, you know, I think I've taken a bit of Deno's role of last year of just been in the right place at the right time and it's, it's come to me and I've got an easy finish but, you know, it's good to get off the mark in the pre-season, get up and run. There was one chalked off just before it, you've just said it there, Edmore, you're getting into those areas. Yeah, you know, I think, I've, to be fair, I didn't expect Jarma to put a good, like, such a good ball in first time. Um, I thought it was going to take a touch, which would have, would have made me onside, but, you know, he's, <laughs> he's whipped it in first time. Um, and, you know, I've been half a yard offside, um, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that happens. But I think, like you said, it's been in the right place at the right time. What does it mean to a striker to be scoring goals pre-season or not? I think it's great. You know, it's a really good feeling to, you know, I think after the games we've had, you know, I've had a few opportunities now to score. Um, and... I've taken up a bit of Mox's role of getting all the assists for some reason. Uh, I've got a few assists in the last few games. Um, so to actually get on the score sheet and you know get up and running, it's great to go into you know August 5th with a couple of goals under your belt. It's a great feeling. Um, gets you confident for the first game. We can see it, Edmo. All the lads in the background are taking the mickey. These weeks away, they're hard, but they're also important, and they just brings everybody together again. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's such a good shift. <laughs> But, you know, it's like the group that we've got here is such a good group. And I think when you come away for a week with all the lads, it's such a good laugh. Um, don't get me wrong, they're all annoying as hell. But, um, yeah, you know, we wouldn't ask for anything else. You know, you see people like over in Spain and Marbella and stuff like that. But, you know, I think with a group we've got, we always make the most of what we've got. And, you know, the gaffer don't really care about the sun or anything. It's we're here to work, you know, that's what we're here for. Um, so I think it's a really good environment to be in. Back end of May, we asked you if the penalty had sunk in, if the enormity of what you all did in that shootout had sunk in. You said no. Has it yet? Has it, has it sunk in? Probably still no. <laughs> I think, you know, we've all now come into a season where I think even if you ask the lads, it doesn't even feel like we've been promoted. You know, you, you go away, you, you get the season done, you go away for the off-season, you have your celebrations. But then as soon as you come back in, you've got no time to waste on celebrations. So, you know, you, you're back in and the gaffer said to us all, oh, the first day in, you know, we're here to work. Nothing else. You're here to work. You're here to train. And, you know, we're here to go again. You know, we're not here to just mosey about and try to survive this league. We're here to come take the league by storm and see what we can do with it. That's it, isn't it? It's league one. It's a challenge. It's a step up. But we're there for a reason. Exactly. You know, I think the expectations that we had on us last year, we've surprised everyone. And I think, you know, we've, we've just said to people that, you know, all the meetings were just keep surprising people. We said we had a meeting the other day, and we just said, you know, keep on surprising people because no one expects a, a lot from this group. But I tell you what, this group's got a lot more in it than people think. And is it that togetherness that's a big part of it? Oh, 100 percent. It's massive in this group. You know, we're like a bunch of brothers. It's mental, honestly. I think even we've only been in a night. It feels like a school residential trip or something. It's a nightmare. <laughs> um, you know, even like the, the older lads, you got Garns, Carl, you know, Hunts. They even get they, they get involved all the time, so it's good. It's a real good group. It's a good close group. Um, I think we'll do well. Fitness wise, how are you doing? Good. I mean, I think you can tell it. It's not it's not easy. So I think you know, even if you did come in here in bad shape, the gaffer's going to get you whipped up in no time. Um, but you know, I think as a pro now, you've got to come back in half good shape as it is. You you have a couple of weeks to blow off and do whatever. But when you've got like that 
next two, three weeks building up to the first day of pre-season, you start doing bits and you come back in a good run of form, you come back in a good shape and these things become easier. You know, I think you've got to be professional about it, you've got to do the work, but I think everyone's looking fit, you know, everyone's getting through minutes in the game. Um, we're not picking up injuries really, so I think the group's in a very good stead. And just finally, Ed Mo, I know when you first arrived in the first interview, you, you said it was a stage to prove yourself. What a stage you've got now to go out there and, and hit that challenge in League One and with the teams that we're coming up against. Yeah, you know, I think I've been in League One a couple of times now, but I don't think I've been in League One with this many big names. Um, you know, the likes of Barnsley, Derby, Charlton, Bolton, you know, the teams that are in it, it's not an easy league to be in. You know, you'd expect half the teams in this league to be in the champ. Um, so I think for us to come in, and be in this league and be able to compete with these teams it says a lot about not only us as a group but you know of what we've got going on behind the scenes you know we're all a big together club and we've achieved something great and i think you know why can't we go do it again brilliant thank you